Hi YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a fall slash Thanksgiving slash autumn slash whatever you want to call it video perfect for this time of the year that's why i decided to drop this video now even though i've been planning to share this video with you guys for about a year and a half or two years i can't even remember you guys requested it and it is here for you guys i am super excited to bring you guys a new nail video and if you guys want to learn how to do it please keep on watching i already went ahead and prepped my nails i applied a thin layer of acrylic and I am going to be sculpting these nails and I am going to be using Easy Flow nail forms. I usually use the green ones slash aqua nail forms that they sell, but I found the purple ones and I am super in love with this ones. I think they are perfect because of the shape that they have right here. They are super comfortable and I just, I'm in love with these things, okay? So in previous videos, I have shown you guys how to apply nail forms. I am going to skip that to save a little bit of time on the video and I am going to come back when all the nails have the nail forms applied. The main color that I am going to be using for this set of nails is a color that I created and actually one of my followers slash subscribers went ahead and named the color in one of my Instagram live videos. She named it Supernova, which I absolutely love and i have it up for sale i will leave all the details on the description box down below and i have to emphasize that it is a color that glows in the dark because yes we do have to be extra <laughs> before i open the container i want to give the color a good shake to mix everything well together and so all the components are very mixed in the container Oh, it's so beautiful, even when it's powder form. All right, guys. My monomer was evaporating a little bit, so that's why I have that little towel on the bottom. Monomer tends to evaporate, so I wanted to save it. Or save my table, I should say. I'm going to be using my number 14 brush. You guys already know all that jazz about prepping the brush, getting the air bubbles out, so I'm not even going to go through that. I'm gonna start with the pinky. Oh, it is so pretty already. It's more so of like a plum slash burgundy mix, I would say. And I wanna bring it up to the cuticle area and then fade it thinly. Towards the middle of the nail, I'm not going to go all the way to the free edge because I'm going to be adding glitter and I also want to make the tips clear. So I'm going to leave it like that. I think that's perfect. For the ring fingernail, I wanted to do something different, so we'll get to that later. And... I'm going to repeat the same process to all the nails, besides, of course, the ring fingernail. I am obsessed with this color. It is so pretty. And I am applying thin layers, as usual, because you guys already know what I'm going to say. I am going to be encapsulating. <laughs> you just want to get to those corners. But that's looking pretty good. And I am going to repeat the same exact process. And again, I'm not going to bring it all the way up to the free edge. I'm going to leave this kind of long. And I'm going to do coffin. I think coffin is the most popular nail form out there as of right now, so I think I would like to stick to that one until, I don't know, until it stops being popular, I guess. <laughs> and not even, because I just think it makes nails look so elegant and it suits people's nails very, very well. I think it's a univer universal shape, meaning it fits everyone's nails, really. Oops, I applied a little bit too thick on this one. 
So let me remove a little bit and make it thinner. So I'm just using the belly of my brush to get rid of that bulky stuff there. All right, the next two colors that I'm going to be using are glitters. I think they're both by Martha Stewart. I'm not really sure. One of them I already pre-mixed with crystal clear acrylic, and I got them such a long time ago that I don't remember this one, but I'm pretty sure that if I can find the exact same one, I'll find something similar for you guys, and I'll link it down below. I know for the flakes, I am using Martha Stewart's uh, Fire Opal. I got this one from Michaels, as a matter of fact. And this one comes in a package of about 12 colors, if I am not mistaken, but I will also try to find it and leave it on the description box down below. The first glitter that I am going to be applying is the Fine Glitter, and I am going to grab just a tiny little bead. It's actually too big for the pinky, so I am going to start with my middle fingernail. I am going to grab a little bit more of monomer, tilt my brush sideways, and faded towards the free edge and towards the cuticle area. You don't want to apply too much because we're also going to be applying the flakes and you don't want it to be too thick. And when you encapsulate, for the nails to look super bulky at the end. So I think that looks pretty good. If you want to separate the piece of, pieces of glitter a little bit more, you can use monomer and that will give you the flexibility to move your glitters around. All right, so that one looks perfect to me. And I'm gonna go back to, actually that's a lot for the pinky again. So I'm gonna do this one again, tilt my brush sideways, fade, fade, fade. And same going upwards towards the cuticle area. I'm gonna pat it down to make sure that everything is securely in place. And I am going to be repeating the same process to all the nails. Yay, I finally got a, a bead perfect for the, the pinky. <laughs> all right, so fade, fade, fade. And same thing. I'm just making sure the side walls are not dripping. And apply just a little more on the pinky. and on the thumb. Oof, that's kind of big. I'm going to remove a chunk and clean it on the napkin. Grab a little bit more of monomer so I can distribute those pieces of glitter nicely on the nail. And it's the same process one more time. 
it does not have to be perfect. It could be a little bit sloppy right at first because when you apply the pieces of, I think those are mylar pieces or flakes, they are going to cover any imperfections. Now with those, you have to be a little bit more precise, but we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. I'm pretty satisfied with that. There we go. Okay. For the ring fingernail, I wanted to do it just with plain glitter. So I'm going to grab a bead. I already have a layer of crystal clear acrylic on my nails to protect it. And I'm going to apply a thin layer of this. And then I'm going to apply some flakes on the top to match it to the other nails. So this will be an accent nails among all accent nails. <laughs> they are all accent nails because they have glitter. They're beautiful. They're not just plain. this length I think I want to make the coffins this time very narrow because the coffin nails that I've been making lately are a little bit wider so I want to try this shape. Ooh, I'm loving the shape. I don't think I've ever tried nail coffin on my nails and I love it. So gorge. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, after applying the fine glitter, we're gonna move on to the fun part, which is applying the flakes. Yay! <laughs> and I am just going to just drop some flakes here on the napkin. If I need more, I'm gonna grab more, but for now, I think that's good. To apply the flakes and to encapsulate, I am going to be using Max Estrada's Crystal Clear. This is from Exclusive Nail Couture. So, oh, it even has a safety cap. I love that. And now, this part is where you want to get really precise and you want to make sure that you spread them out evenly and also that you cover the spaces that you want to cover so it looks like they're falling and it's very pretty. I love this effect and let me show you how it's done. You want to uh, grab a little bit of monomer and grab just a tiny bit of crystal clear acrylic, pick up some of the crystals and apply them right on the middle of the nail, just like so. Start molding them and moving them to the places that you want before the crystal clear dries out. And I like to put a few, like they're falling and you just wanna play with it and see what you like, but you want it to be a gradual fall of the flakes. You don't want it to be concentrated too much on one side and then nothing on the other side. Because it's going to make it look, I don't know, kind of isolated and not gradual and beautiful as it should. So I think that's pretty good. You want to concentrate the flakes more so where that glitter is in the middle of the nail. And you want to repeat the same process to all the nails, of course. Oh, besides the ring fingernail. That's the one that's going to have flakes all over the nail. And it's already looking so pretty. I can't wait to finish these nails. <laughs> Why must nails be an obsession? Oh my God. I don't want to apply too many flakes on top 
or I should say on the free edge because I want that part to be see-through, so clear. So I'm gonna leave it just like that. Oh, maybe this one fall a little bit more. This one too, this one too. Gorge, gorgeous. And I can't deal with how beautiful this narrow coffin is. This may be my new shape, you guys. I always loved coffin, but, or ballerina, I should say, to sound more proper and elegant. <laughs> but this one looks phenomenal. These little flakes are fantastic. They really do look like autumn. Perfect nails for Thanksgiving. See guys, I give you good ideas. <laughs> and if you guys decide to try this out, you better tag me because I want to see them, okay? And if you get some of these flakes, buy another one for me because I'm running out. <laughs> Just kidding. So pretty so dramatic but i know i have to be extra for these nails okay because look at all this glitter who doesn't love all this glitter and if you don't love it you don't belong to the nail screen clan okay because everybody in this channel loves glitter and sparkle <laughs> Perfect. After applying all the glitter, all the flakes, everything, this is pretty much the design and now we're going to finish by encapsulating and this time I am going to show you the encapsulation of about one or two nails just so you can see how I create that see-through part. Alright, so I'm going to grab a bead, put it right in the middle and encapsulate this baby. And what I mean by creating the see-through part is adding a little bit past where that glitter finishes and i am going to make them narrow because i am obsessed with the shape so i know oops my hand is shaking shake i am going to leave it right there so as if uh, so for right now it looks a little bit blurry but at the end when I apply the crystal, I mean the top coat, you are going to see how beautiful that looks. So just wait and see. No judging right now. No judging. You can judge when you see the final product because my nails are fleek. <laughs> I'm going to apply a really tiny bead to create a beautiful arch and that's it I'm not going to apply by the cuticle area because I'm going to be filing all that off I'm going to apply just a little more right here and there we go that's what I mean by the clear part so just wait and see wait and see
After encapsulating all the nails, this is what they look like and I'm going to be filing one nail on camera to show you guys the performance of my e-file that I reviewed on my previous video. So they are all dry. As you can tell from the tapping noise, I am going to grab an e-file, I mean a hand file, and this is an 80 uh, grit, 80 and 100, 80 on one side, 100 on the other, and I am going to be doing the thumb for you guys. I am going to separate the skin from any acrylic there may be, and I am going to firmly file inwards to create that beautiful narrow shape. And actually to perfect it because I already created the shape while I was applying the acrylic with the forms. I'm gonna go under and on the tip. As you can tell, it is pretty reliable. It does not stop, so it has a pretty good torque, pretty reliable. And I am not even halfway at the uh, speed control. And it's fine and pretty good. Now it also has to do with the e-file bit that you get to file your nails. Get a good one with a good e-file and you will get good results. As you can tell, it's filing pretty nicely. It's fairly quiet. And it's doing the job. I honestly thought that it was $54, uh, but when I looked it up, it was $49.99, so $50, $4 cheaper, which is pretty nice. I also found it on eBay, but it is a little bit more expensive. But I am definitely in love with this e-file. All right, that looks pretty good. And make it just a little bit more narrow. And file any imperfections on the bottom of the nail. That looks pretty good. And the free edge. Fantastic. All right, so off camera, I went ahead and filed all the nails and I prepped them for top coat application using 99% alcohol. And today for top coat, I'm going to be using exclusive nail couture Shine E. Um, this is the first time that I use this top coat, so I don't really have any reviews on it. But I love Max's products and I'm pretty sure that it's going to be great. So I'm just gonna give it a good shake and I'm going to apply on all my nails and I'm going to apply on the bottom as well. I'm going to be curing these nails for 30 seconds under an LED lamp, and the LED lamp that I'm using is also one of his, and it is the Darling lamp. As I am curing the nails, I can see how the glow-in-the-dark pigments are activating. And oh my god. So gorgeous. And now I am also going to do the bottom. Very thin layer. And this is going to make it pop and stand out. Even this one to make the glitter pop. And to cure this, you're going to put it this way. I'm also curing this for 60, I mean 30 seconds. To finish off these nails properly, I'm going to be using cuticle oil and I'm going to be applying around the cuticle area and I'm going to bring it down to the knuckles. I always like to do that. Oh, there's a piece of fuzz now. 
go away. <laughs> and I'm going to be massaging it. And oh my god, you guys, these nails are absolutely stunning. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for you. And if you would like to see anything in particular, please comment on the comments down below and let me know. And I will definitely see you next time. And just stay tuned for the final pictures. Mwah. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.